Team Random. This is New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. It's 2019, y'all. Let's get it done. Whatever we gonna do, let's go to our destiny. Let's reach it. Let's get fulfillment. Let's get prosperity. Let's get greatness. Let's be loving ourselves. Make it, make it be great. For me, I say this is the 2019 is the year of me really, truly learning to love myself. And I'm 43 years old. That's bad. I'm just now focusing on learning that because you let so many people mistreat you in life that you forget how to treat yourself. So if y'all see me enjoying a lot this year, that's why I'm learning to love myself. Still help others along the way, but don't forget self. That's where you can get depressed and get down and get low because you're not treating yourself. Do things. Step outside the box. Enjoy. I'm going to be traveling. I might even do weekend trips. I'm going to do some stuff to enjoy 2019 and to grow my YouTube channel to prosper. And of course, I'm going to take y'all along with me because I love y'all and I'm eventually going to get a better camera. I don't know if that's what's hindering my YouTube or Jamaica vlogs are slowly picking up. One's at 151 views. Uh, others are at 80s, 90s. So I thank all y'all for that. Y'all see I'm repping Jamaica today. I got the flag on the back too. I don't know if you see, 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 see. Yeah, yeah. I got my pajama pants on. Lazy day. New Year's day. No work. No work. But I did greet. I did oil my hair with some black Jamaican black castor oil. And just twisted it. Flat twisted it. Because I ain't trying to do all that. That's why I get that little crinkly look. It's flat twisting it or twisting it at night. But I just read it today and I pampered myself a little bit, gave myself a little manny. See, it was even a little polish and a little patty. I won't see my toes. <laughs> Y'all might not sign up for that, but yeah, I gave myself a little patty too. So to pamper yourself, take just that's what I'm gonna do all year. Just make myself love myself and really truly learn to love myself. That's my journey for 2019 and to grow financially, spiritually, everything. But let's get into this jewelry. I told you I was going to try to come with the videos and with the positivity in 2019. And y'all know I'm still going to have to joke every now and then because y'all know me. But yeah, so I'm going back to the DIYs. Yeah, I know I used to make jewelry, so I'm going to use this string. This is where well, you buy these little strings at Hobby Lobby. And then I go to the clear. I get them on clearance and just snatch them up. $1.49. I got, I guess, 50% off or 75% off the regular price. But yeah, I like to snatch these strings of beads and stuff. See, it's like green with the little, nice little beads. I like to snatch these up and just when they have them on clearance, snatch about 10 of them up or whatever. I have this pendant, pendant that um, kind of has a little thing right there. See that latch? Um, that this is part of the jewelry with independence that my aunt gave me. She gave me all the jewelry, little boxes and trinkets, because she used to do jewelry. She stopped, so she was like, "I got all kinds of stuff for you." So that pendant is part of it, and I'm going to try to create a necklace and maybe do a bracelet to go with that necklace. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the necklace and maybe a pair of earrings. Because I can do earrings quick. So I'll probably just do a necklace and earrings, not a bracelet. And this is the gold link that I got. And you know, at Hobby Lobby, make sure you get the coupon printed out 40% off. You can use a 40% off on one item. And you make sure you use it on highest price item that you have every day. Every day of the week. Just print one off every day. So yeah, you just sign up for the mailing list or something. Or go on there and just print it off on their website, HobbyLobby.com, I think. Just Google Hobby Lobby. I haven't been on there in a while. But yeah, this this regular price, eleven ninety nine. But I made sure I had my forty percent off coupon. Because it's a lot of yards. It's um six yards. This this nice little pendant and this green and what do you call that? Those little cubic zirconias or whatever you want to call them. And this chain. And I'm trying to create something with this string. I'm going to use this string. And then I have my measuring tape. This little roll measuring tape comes in handy for my Poshmark store and for making jewelry, for making clothing. Because Poshmark, they always want them. What's the dimensions of this purse? What's the dimensions of this purse or bag or whatever? So this comes in so handy for everything. And it's only was like $2 at Walmart maybe. Might have been cheaper than that. Love this thing. So let's get into it, people. Let's see what we come up with. I think it's going to be a beautiful creation. We're going to find out. So I don't know how, how much string. I probably just need about this much string, which I'm going to measure it and let y'all know what's that length, even though I'll probably end up cutting it down to size. But just to give you all an idea what kind of size string to start with before you cut it. Because it's better it be too long than too short. So this is like a 20 inch piece of string is what I'm cutting off here. So cut off 
if you want to see this necklace and you like it and you want to make something similar 20 inch piece of string and what I'm going to do with this string you also need a sewing needle you don't you're not really sewing anything but to loop the string through the beads I'm going to try that I've never tried it before but let's get creative let's get creative people you know you lick it I'm old school because you know it splits at the ends you licked it lick it and twist it try so you can get it through and it's so hard as how many people have such a hard time as me <laughs> uh threading the daggone needle because you gotta have perfect eyes I probably need some readers glasses which I do have around here and I need to start wearing them but I'm in denial I'm in denial y'all I'm in denial Now this is kind of shredded at the end, so I'm gonna have to cut it again to get a cleaner cut. Cause look at that, can y'all see? It? That's terrible. That's not gonna go through nothing. That did not cut clean with these little baby scissors that come with those sewing kit. I can't find my good scissors. That's why I ended up doing the necklace today, cause I was going to do the repair thrifted items, but I can't find my good scissors or my good leather needles, which are thicker than the regular needle. So I'm gonna have to find the scissors or buy some more, and find the needles or buy some more. Because I need leather needles to repair that Dooney and Burke bag. Okay, here we go. I got it through, people. I got it through. And I'm not going to go all the way down. What I'm going to do is tie it at the end. Because we're not sewing. We're just using it to go through these beads. Get the string through the beads. So, yeah, I'm just going to tie a loop. A loose, not too tight of a loop. Because I, I want to be able to cut it off. I don't want it to get stuck on the end of my needle. So, I'm just going to make it tight enough to where I can cut it when I'm done and it will come off the needle you'll just tie a little loose knot on, on this end you don't have as much difficulty as I'm having oh people 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 I've been running my mouth for 10 minutes sorry people but it should be a quick necklace to make there we go. So I made, I put a loose knot on this end. Let me, so y'all can see. There we go. You know, YouTube tubers do that. Yeah, this is a loose knot. And what I'm going to do is knot the other end with a, no, I'm not even going to knot this because I'm going to tie this. Now I need to get a piece of chain off here. And if you're making it for yourself, try to measure it for the length that you want on your necklace. Making it for someone else, either you can measure their neck or make it just an average length. You can look up average length of necklaces online, I'm sure. I've never done that because I uh, just eyeball it. And I don't really make necklaces for, I think I want it to be, let me see. Let me see, people. And this is, of course, not real gold. Uh, about that length, I think. Yeah, I think that's a cute length. About that length. So let's see what length that that length is. <laughs> that length is twenty-five inches. That's how long I'm gonna cut this off. Twenty-five inches. And I bought one of these little sets because you need this to make jewelry. These are little jewelry, so the travel size jewelry kit. I I have the bigger ones, but I like the little ones, and they're cheaper. You can get all three of these. You get this one, this one, the third one that's not here. It's a yellow, it has yellow things, and it's a clipper. I really need the clipper too. It's somewhere in this house. I'll find it. But this one is like to round stuff off, op open eyelets and stuff. No, this is a clamp. This one's the clamper. See, it's flat flat and then this one's the one for the outlets that's what you call them for close and open those it's rounded if you can't see can you see it's kind of round there's rounded so yeah the little yellow one is a, to clip the metal and stuff I know it's around here somewhere people I'll find it eventually but I just need these two for the day since I can't find that one so make you get these a Hobby Lobby as well I think this was like $7.99 for this kit Catch your 40% off. It's cheaper than $7.99. Hobby Lobby has a lot, also has a lot of 50% off sales. A lot. So even if you're not getting 40% off of something, you're probably getting 50% off stuff. So, hey. 
make it do what it do. Okay. So I'm gonna grab and what I'm going to do is clamp, use the clamp and open. I wish I could see. Let me pull it downward some or come closer to you all so y'all can see. What I'm going to do is use the clamp to open this because these have little openings, but you got to find where they are, which I think is right here. And I'm going to use the clamp on one end and use this on the other end to twist it so it opens. So it comes in handy having more than one of these. So you can see, came right off. Got that open. I don't know if y'all can see. See, that's the piece that made it come right off. You just take those and just twist like it. Now I gotta get the piece that fell on the floor. And now I have the length of the necklace. See? Nice, nice, nice. And you. So I ended up having to get my Hobby Lobby bag because I couldn't find the gold clip clamp things I don't have any but I do have these that I'd got 90 cents and they're regular 4.99 got them at Hobby Lobby for 90 cents on clearance and I'm gonna use that as the hook so instead of needing these I don't need these anymore the little outlets that I showed previously I don't need those I can just use this for the clamp period it's a whole clamp set just layer and add clasp and that's all we need, people. So just layer in that class. But it's a class here, class there, class everywhere. Now, just playing. So I'm gonna take this out off of this piece of paper. Chewing up some grippos, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I love some grippos. My favorite champ. Grippos, grippos, barbecue. Mm-hmm. My favorite chips right there. If you don't know now, you know. What this little piece of hair go? Yeah, go behind my ear like it's supposed to be. Try to be as decent as I can with this flat twist. Okay, so I took that off the package and I'm going to take them off of this plastic wire. Not wire, plastic string. So I can put the thread through them. So what you got to do is you just cut, cut, see the string is wrapped around the bead so you see can you see that can y'all see that right there yeah now y'all can see y'all should be able to see how it's looped around the bead and you just cut that with your scissors so what i'm going to do is put a bead on here loop it through the chain and i want to make sure this is even so i have everything where i want it to be but first i'm going to put the pendant in the middle exactly before I add these jewels to it but I showed y'all how to get the jewels off that plastic string now I'm gonna put this pendant I kinda got it set evenly so I can get this pendant exactly where I want it so I'm gonna mark where I want it so I can show you all I want it right there I can mark that with a hook I can mark it with an addict and that's what I want to do. Use this eyelet, open it up, and put it right where I want this pendant. And I might just leave it, use that eyelet. So I do need at least one of these for the pendant. I didn't think about the pendant. And I'm going to open it the way I showed you all. Did I open it? Use both of these to grip it and then twist. Got to get it open enough so that it will go on this ch chain, and the chain is pretty thick. Okay, so this is how far I opened it. Can y'all see? I'm trying to have a steady hand here, and I'm gonna get it on here so I can show you all where I marked it, where I think it's even. I'm not gonna sit here and count all the loops on this chain. I'm just eyeballing, eyeballing it. If you want perfection, then you would count all the loops on this chain to make sure it's even. But I'm not going for perfection because you can always take a loop off if it's not even. But So this is how I marked it. That's the outlet down there hanging at the end. And that'll be where the pendant goes. See, that's the length. 
of the chain. You can see it's basically about even. I might have to take a loop or two off. We shall see. Connect this pendant. Let me try to put this up a little bit where y'all can see. Do this hand thing again. And this pendant has a little hook on it. See that? So I'm going to try to put this. In, I put it inside the hook. And then I got to use the same tools to close the close it right on back up. So that's what I'm about to do. I may be able to use one tool to close it. I'm not. I'm use both because that might be too complicated. These things are kind of very sturdy. These little outlets. All right, that was pretty easy to close it. So now we have our pendant on the chain. So the necklace is getting there, people. It's getting there, but see, it's kind of crooked. So I don't know if I want it on that piece that it's on. I don't know. We shall see as it comes along. Let me see how it will look on. Oh no, that looks good. If I just take some uh, loops, yeah, to center it, we'll figure that out as we go. Next is the string through the jewels. Okay, change of plans. Look at this. It's not working the way I thought. I should have knew it was not going to work properly. So yeah, this string is not going to get it. I have a stretchy white string. I'm going to try that. That may work the way I want it to work. Because this string slipping right through the small cracks in the, in the necklace. So I came up with a different concept because the string was just not working. So I'm going to use these pins. And you see, they're like a, almost like stick pins. But they, they're not sharp on the end, but they have that end to hold the beads on. You slide beads on there for earrings or whatever. Then you take your tools and you curve it to hook it. So that's what I'm going to put, how I'm going to put the jewels. They're going to all dangle around the pendant. Hopefully it'll be cute. We shall see. We shall see. But I'm going to you take this, put one, put the jewel that it won't fall off. It's not wide. See, this holds the jewel. The other end is like a stick pin. And I'm going to put one of those on there and one of the pearl the green fake pearls green coated plastic <laughs> like this and one more of the cubic zirconia or whatever you want to call them oh there it goes one more of those little round loops like that so i'm gonna have six of these hopefully dangling from this necklace on three on each side of the pendant for the placement of these and for them to stay on the chain, so you take your clamp, the flat one, bend it, and you can just bend you bend the bend it good enough so it will make a hook out of it. And then you use this rounded one to round it out. So I just did one bend at like a what do you call that? Twenty five degree angle or angle or whatever, I don't know one of those something 50 degree angle but I'm curving it now and I'm not going to curve it all the way because I'm going to find the placement on the necklace where I want it to be and I think I want it to be about maybe one two three four on the fourth loop no five on the fifth loop away from the pendant and place them wherever you want on yours but that's where I'm going to place the first one on each side of this pendant on mine I have to keep counting because this won't connect. There we go. So now that I have it on there, and now I need to close that with this rounded out, this rounded out piece. And then flatten it with the flat clamp so it will stay closed. And then you all can see it. And I can see it too for the first time to see if I'm going to like this design. And that might be cute with three on each side of the pendant. So we shall see. Or I may want to put another jewel on there. I don't know. We will see, people. I'm giving you an idea. I just got to do one more on the other side. So you see, I had to switch it up because I didn't have enough of the cubic zirconia or whatever, crystal, whatever you want to call them, little fake beads. So I switched it up a little, so I'm gonna do I just gotta do one more dangling on the other side and I will be doing doing the end piece. I did six as I originally told you all, I forgot that I said six, so I did do the six. And that's how it's looking. That's very 
pretty if I do say so myself. Now I just have to, if I can get this the angle, I want y'all to see it. There we go. Y'all know I have issues with getting the camera structure right. Oh, people, y'all know, y'all get the idea. Y'all get the just, but now I gotta get the ends put on here. So let me see how those work. I've never done these kind of ends. I usually do the simple clamp and eyelid end. I don't know about these clasp ends, this clasp end. So I'm gonna try to show you all how to do that. With this kind of end, I can make it simple or I can make it hard. So they have two of these to do this open and close, basically like a clasp. So you can take that off and then use the eyelid or this one because I don't think these open. No, these don't open. So yeah, keep that keep that right there and connect that to the necklace this small keep that right there and connect connect the small outlet to the necklace and then this is what this this clasp will go inside or you can use this kind like this which has another one of these on the end which you would take off of there because you don't want to have you can you don't need this kind of clasp right here if you have this it just slides through the outlet the thick outlet and you just close it that way so for purposes of this video i'm going to do the clasp way and not the not this part that dangles gotta get the round pliers get that small one open so I'm opening this small one in between in the center Open it pretty big because these are pretty big. I may need to use both if I can't get it with just one. I may used to have to use both pliers and I'm going to go do that for video purposes. Make it easier. It's always easier to open them when you use two. There we go. See how fast that was like last time. See. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? You can't see but you'll see me take it off of there. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, I have to open it a little bit more. Come on now. Open. Open sesame. Oh, one set of pliers. Ha, 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 ha. Two sets of pliers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on now. Oh, people. This has been, when, you, when you're out of practice, it's, Getting back to in the in the focus of this. So. Okay. There. Now they should come off. Because the little one is open. And you can reuse this one or use a different one that hasn't been opened and closed already. But I got it open. See. This is the piece that I got it off of. This little piece here was the one I was opening to get these big rings off so these are what I'm gonna use for the edges but I got to put one on to see the length of this too because I gotta try to find a way to make it even if it's not I may take one of these rings off so now I have to open one of the bigger one now these I don't think open do they let me see you gotta feel around the sea or scratch around no I think these are sealed all the way across so I need that little eyelid again the one I just opened to get it off and I'm gonna take it and put it on the end of that and then close it back up uh, uh, uh. now I should be able to just use my flat plier close to close it No, these are sturdy. I'm gonna have to use both pliers. <laughs> these look these are very sturdy. This this tiny one that came in that set. Oh people, people. I'm gonna start closing it and then put that piece back on. Takes some muscle now, it takes some muscle. Y'all see, it's taking some muscle over here. These pliers usually have enough to see because I'm using these circular pliers on the other end. And it's kind of, if I had two pairs of flat pliers, then I'd be in good shape right now for this part. There we go. 
And now I just need the flat and this steel because they're too strong to just use one set. But I haven't put this on here yet. I almost got it closed, y'all. You got to be very careful with these things, too. Don't want to stick yourself with the point on the flat one. I mean, it didn't hurt me, but you don't want to do that to yourself. Oh, clumsy clut. So, and see, that's what I'm trying to get closed. See that? I need it closed. It's not going to fall out, but I don't want it looking like that and scratching your neck and all that crap. Get it almost, almost people. Almost. Yeah, it makes you have a workout plan. <laughs> a workout plan when you're dealing with these thick outlets. But they have thinner ones for people that can't do all this with their wrist and stuff. Use the thinner outlets, not these thick ones, which I have thinner ones, but I wanted to use the one that came with the little clasp kit. Which I probably shouldn't have because this is getting on my nerves, y'all. <laughs> Three hours later. Can you move along? I'm all out of time cards. But y'all see the true jewelry making stuff with me because I keep it real. I don't make it look, oh, I do this all the time and make it look all good and neat like the rest of the people that practice and practice. No, this is, I ain't practicing a long time. And I'm just putting this together, making it up as I go. I might start doing practice with the rest of them because I don't want to have to make take so long to make a video. But yeah, because this video uh, took me way longer than what y'all seeing. Probably took it taking me a couple of hours so far. Okay, then I got it better. That's better. It's not gonna scratch your neck, and it's definitely not gonna, that piece not gonna come out. But the other end might be able to get out. So I need to flatten it. we don't want either side to come off we want it to be as good as if it were made in the store Ooh, I stuck myself people but it's not bleeding because it's not the, the ones the clip so I'm safe I'm safe there we go I think I'm getting getting it up Ooh, I'm just sticking my fingers all over the place y'all. I got it a little closed a little bit better. That's okay. Nothing's gonna come out. We hope. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's gonna stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Yank, 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 yank. Stay put. Move, move, move. Yank, yank, yank. Okay, we good. We good. We good, people. We good. On to the next end. Got it. Get it. I get it. We're almost done, people. Let's pray it's even. So we have this other end that has the actual clasp on it. Because there's the this is the actual clasp. I'm gonna connect that. Connect four. And let's pray that it looks even. If not, we'll have to take some outlets off and rearrange and stuff. Alright, alright, close it. Oh, it's trying to <laughs> it fall. I'm so clumsy. I need a table so I don't have to worry about it falling on the floor. So I thought I was filming. I was talking away and I was not filming. I was talking about Marvel, Incredible Hawk. I don't know if y'all heard any of that. Well, I'll find out when I edit this. But uh, yeah, I got both ends on now. After a fight with those thick outlets that came with the kit. If you can't handle them thick outlets, these right here. They came with this kit. Buy your own outlets. They have thinner ones. Because these were very sturdy. They even have some that look this size in Hobby Lobby. That size. But they're not that hard to open and close. The ones that came with that kit. Hard to open and close. But we're going to. Here comes the final test. We're going to clasp. Put this necklace on. But I'm going to show you all what it looks like. And I also insert a picture. I got it backwards. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. But look, isn't that beautiful? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she lovely? I keep, I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see it. 
you see the beauty of it. It's looking crooked because I can't. Y'all know me in the camera. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my life. I'm making up words because I ain't listened to it in a while. But isn't she lovely? Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Okay, push this class. Where's the class? How you do this stupid class? Maybe I should have used the stick thing. Because I'm trying to figure out how to do the stupid class over here. How to open it. Oh, duh. Duh, people, duh. Okay. And there we have it. There we have it. There we have it. And I put it on backwards. Do -do 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 -do. Let me put it on the right way. Y'all know I'm always doing the Sanford and Son uh, song. I'm going to stop doing that all the time. But I'm making my own words, but it's to the Sanford and Son beat. So let's turn it around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Turn around. Every now and then I don't know all the words because I haven't listened to none of these songs around. Baby, every now and then I fall apart and I need you more tonight. And I need you more than ever. I'm trying to put it on my neck even. This is so hard to, to get stuff even. It's so hard. To get it even when you're doing a video, because I can't get the adjustment of the camera. And I hope you like my necklace to bring you sunshine after your rain. Hey, it's so hard to say goodbye to you today. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all like my. Hope y'all like this DIY. I hope you like this necklace. How it turned out. I, like, I got a little bit of bling bling going on. The most is still long enough for y'all, but I will take pictures of it or pictures with it on as well. To give you an idea, but yeah, get into it, get into it, people, get into it, get into it, people, get into it. See, I keep thinking this hand is on this side because the camera. I'm, one of these days, I'm gonna get this camera crap, but yeah, I hope you all like this necklace. It would be good to dress it up, not wear it with a t shirt like this, but like with a nice dress, an emerald green dress, a gold shirt, or a gold dress, whatever. You could wear it with anything gold, green, just whatever. <laughs> I hope y'all like this video. Thumbs it up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to do more DIYs in 2019. I like DIYs. I started out doing them in 2017. They slipped on slipped on through 2018 probably without one. But I'm going to do more DIYs with jewelry, house stuff, restoration, decorations. Get back on it. So Jewelry and accessories like hair headbands. I didn't do the earrings this time because this necklace took so long. It took so long, people. But I will do earrings to match this in a separate video. How about that? Bye bye. Hope you join Team Random. Subscribe, 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 share, share, share on your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, play, your YouTube playlist, wherever. Share me, man. I'll bring y'all more good content like this if you share me, man. Come on. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> anyway, love y'all, Team Random. Be blessed and be a blessing the best you can be in 2019. Happy New Year's. See y'all in the next video.